How are we doing, TVC Nation? I'm your online host, Justin Holbrock, and joining me tonight is federal hockey reporter Josh Gregory. Now, Josh, FedHawk actually lost to NY on Saturday, and that snapped their four-game winning streak, but tonight they bounced back in a big way, beating Belpre 58-44. to So how are they able to bounce back and get this win? You know, Justin, they really came in tonight to tonight's game with just a lot of energy, and that energy came in the presence of Jonathan Snyder. The six-foot senior once again led his team to victory, but this time he picked up a game-high and personal best 28 points. And what's even more impressive is he shot 87% from the field, only missing two shots. Ivan Santiago, he also came through for his team with 20 points and multiple steals on defense. The two ran right down the Golden Eagles' throat, and they just really stood out against Belfry tonight. 87% from the field from John Snyder. That's incredible. I've never even heard of that number. I mean, they, they combined for 48 of their 58 points on the team. So was it Belpre just having bad defense or were they just unstoppable? Dustin, I'm just going to put it simple. Their defense just couldn't get it together tonight. And Santiago and Snyder, they capitalized on almost every possession. What they did do, however, was come out with an explosive offense in the first quarter and in the beginning of the third quarter. I don't know what was in the water, but they came out of the locker rooms on an eight-point run and overtook the Lancers' six-point lead in just two minutes. But that momentum quickly died down, and Fedok was able to put 34 points on the board and win this game. You know, this game, it was, uh, it was a game of two very powerful offenses, and the Lancers, they proved that they were the more powerful offense on the hardwood tonight. Their offense definitely stood out. And this is a big game, but they have an even bigger one on Friday against Waterford. These teams are tied for third place in the hockey. So Josh, what do the Lancers need to do to get that win? Well, Justin, the offense just needs to keep doing what they're doing. They're being patient, and they're getting the ball inside the paint and driving it to the hoop. Uh, the defense, on the other hand, they just need to fine tune a few things. Um, Coach Butcher says it's all in the basics. It's just back to the basics. There's no secret what we're going to do. We're going to play defense and rebound the basketball. You know, if they communicate more and rebound the ball more, they should have no problem against Waterford on Friday night. Josh, I'm really looking forward to that game. As always, thanks for the great work. Now, in the meantime, before that game comes, make sure to check us out on social media, at Harwood Heroes. Give us that thumbs up like on Facebook. And don't forget, we're on Twitter. And use that midseason hashtag, TVC Takeover. Now, for Josh Gregory, I'm Justin Holbrock, reminding you to be heroic.